Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September 4th through the 10th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the, the at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Gemini. We've got some assistance today from Felix. Felix is always here, but nobody sees him because he's way up there. Nobody really sees them. And then he gets bored and then he comes on the table and then. So. Yeah. This time is making his presence known with his tail. And I'm actually quite tickling, aren't I? Anyways, the overall energy for the reading, the fool really, really open. Uh, here to go for something really in that kind of an energy of bring it on let's go let's do this let's 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 you know uh, quite an open energy here uh, in the recent past the emperor the two of wands the two of swords all right um hmm, holding off here holding off there's def definitely a whole lot of confusion a whole lot of overthinking over things and then really not allowing yourself to just step into your power because it's definitely there that whole sense of i've got this you know it's definitely there waiting for you but you're kind of keeping it busy up here so i don't know what it is you're overthinking here i don't know what it is that you're kind of secure about but not really seeing it um anyways we'll see in the current situation the four of pentacles the seven of swords the two of pentacles kind of debating here with yourself you know should i stay or should i go kind of a thing the energy is definitely that of i should go i should get the hell out of dodge quite stubborn about it too but really keeping yourself in that place of i don't know maybe i'll do it tomorrow like i'll do it for sure someday but i don't know when you know so kind of keeping things up in the air here about a situation that you definitely want out of now in the immediate future, the Ace of Wands, the Temperance card, the Six of Wands. You're kind of taking a step forward in a direction that feels good to you. And that's about it. That's the energy I see here. So let's clarify. Let me see the full. You're so stinking cute. With your noises of stretching and... Mm. <laughs> For the Fool, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Lovers. Ooh, so it's a connection you're trying to head in the direction of here. Um, hmm. You're kind of feeling a brand new beginning here possible for a situation. Okay, okay, okay. That's a positive kind of way of... Feeling things and looking at things. Okay, I don't know what's going to happen there, but the uh, energy around it seems really good. For the Emperor, you get the, in the recent past, you get the King of Cups, the Chariot, the Queen of Swords. Man! That's a lot of confidence and a lot of believing in yourself in that kind of an energy. But I see you just sitting on that, not really aligning with that fully. Just kind of knowing that it's there, but like... Hey, you know, um, <clears throat> I don't know what it's about, but you are definitely showing up quite, quite clear about something there. Uh, you got your heart set on something there. For the two of wands, you get the temperance card, the ten of swords, the four of cups. I feel like you kind of blew it. <laughs> you know, you're showing up in this energy of, man, I got this. This can happen. This can so almost creating a little bit of a fantasy land right here to the side of this, you know, kind of like hmm, this could happen and this could happen and this could happen because I got it all. I got it all figured out. And then you're sitting on it for so long and under this fear of, oh, I'm going to fuck it up that eventually I don't see anything coming through, you know, coming out of that whole section of confidence there. Doesn't matter. It's not coming out. It's not happening. So you ended up 
disappointed there by the looks of it. It's basically a um, kind of an interaction with yourself there. You know, to some extent, it's like, I got this, I got this, I got this. Ah, fuck it, it's not going to happen. Uh, for the Two of Swords, you get the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Whoever this is that you're fighting with yourself for, um, it could have been a friend. They do carry that kind of an energy of friendship or someone you know, I don't know. But there's a whole lot of attraction there. There's a whole lot of, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, but as much as that's kind of showing up here as that sense of attraction, that's how much of a confusion shows up around it too. So ultimately, I don't see much happening. I don't see much happening towards that. I see a lot happening inside of you for that or because of that. Uh, let's do the Four of Pentacles in the current situation. The Five of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Fool. Uh, you're coming in strong. You're like, this time I'm doing it. This time I'm going in. Watch me going in. I'm going to watch you. But you do have the Five of Swords in there. So it's kind of looking like... You made up your whole team to support you towards doing something here. But at the same time, you're carrying the same kind of energy from the past that held you back. So you're showing up almost as fooling yourself into believing that just because you're bringing more of that openness towards it, that fear is not going to hold you back. Let's do the Seven of Swords. Oh, yes, it will. For the Seven of Swords, you get the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Hermit. And the way it does it right now, the way that fear is going to hold you back right now, is kind of just disconnecting you from how you truly feel. You know, because you're showing me something big, something really, really nice here in what you feel about the situation and how deep you can go with it. And then it's like, yeah, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to do that. It's like this whole reading is about you fighting with you you know over what you should do about a situation and ultimately ending up not doing anything because you've wasted all your energy fighting with yourself about it so let's do the two of pentacles i'm watching a fight between a gemini and their gemini uh, for the Two of Pentacles, you get the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Wands, the Four of Wands, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Oh, I'm going to do this. No, I'm not. I'm going to do this. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Changing your mind along the way, changing everything along the way. So not much has changed from the past. It's just the way you're arguing with yourself has changed. But the energies are kind of the same over a particular situation that seems to carry quite the significance here for you. Let's do the Ace of Wands in the immediate future. <clears throat> the Two of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Moon. Let me see the Temperance, because I feel like you're getting somewhere here. Uh, it's still looking quite the same, but you're getting somewhere. You're getting close to what holds you back here. Uh, for the Temperance, you get the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Devil. Ooh, let's do the Six of Wands. <clears throat> there it is. For the Six of Wands, you get the um, High Priestess, the Three of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles. So you're getting very close to the source of what's holding you back. And that source is somewhere within yourself. It's something within you that keeps on perpetuating some sort of pattern that doesn't allow you to go after what you believe is good for you, what you truly want, you know? And I don't know, yeah, it could be a person, yeah, it could be a situation, it could be just about anything. I, you are pointing me out to a connection of some sort, but overall, the issue is not the connection, it's not the other person, it's what's holding you back here, what's making you go through this continuous circle of 
let's do this let's not let's do this let's not let's do this let's not it's definitely a, a fear that's tied up to a limiting belief that you carry deep 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 down within you that it's not even obvious to you and it won't be obvious that's how they get attached to us where we don't see them we just kind of do the same things over and over again expecting different results and we're not going to get them obviously you know but you are getting very close to those patterns to seeing them at least the closer you get, the more confusing it's going to get, though. So expect a lot of overthinking and a lot of, you know, because it's like the closer you get to the source of an issue, usually when you have an issue or when you're trying to heal a certain situation that you keep on perpetuating, the closer you get to it, that issue is going to feel that you're, oh, 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 oh they're on to me. They're going to get me. They're going to see me. Shit. Let's throw all of our best weapons in there so that they don't find us, you know? So that's why it kind of makes sense that you're going to get more and more confused, more and more in a place of, I give up. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I'm doing, I, you know? So when you're in that place of giving up completely on looking, just know that you're very close. Because I see you potentially giving up. I don't know if you will, though. Because the last energy right here that's shown up is... Oh, look what I found along the way while I was looking for my issues. My intuition. That may help you find your way back into a sense of normalcy. A sense of, let me not fuck me up to such extent that I just give up on, on the whole thing completely. You know, I see your intuition coming through. And I see it guiding you towards where you need to go. What you need to do in order to at least try to approach what you desire let alone make it work but in order for that to happen you would have to pay attention to where your intuition shows up and listen to it you know um because this this right here in the middle the temperance card the nine of swords the eight of swords and the devil is quite the tricky situation it might trick you into okay give up now give up give up give up and again, I told you, when you're in that place of wanting to give up completely because you don't understand shit anymore about shit, that's when you're very close to the source of what's creating this whole struggle for you. And that's where you can also find your intuition if you pay attention. So this, this has been an interesting reading, I, I must say. Let's see what the universe has to close it off. The Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. I mean, you're working on it. I know you're working on it. You're actively working on this fear that keeps on perpetuating this cycle for you, this, this pattern. Um, and I know, I know you're on top of the game here. I know you're, you're working on it because you are showing me that I'm getting very close. And you're super excited about it. But then you want to give up because you're so close, you know? Um, so try not to give up. It's definitely a fear that has been so instilled in you that you don't even see what it's doing, uh, basically. And again, it's tied up to a limiting belief of who knows, like if I act on something that truly means something to me, I'm probably going to fuck it up or could be just about any kind of limiting belief that you have over important things to you. So anyways that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye